What is up guys, I like him here and today I am bringing you guys what would be episode 26 of my Madden 16 Connected Fantasy Draft Franchise Mo now. Um, there's a lot to be explained because there's probably a lot of confusion in the, in the look of most of you guys following uh, what you can see on your screen. And so I think there is actually a lot that we need to discuss. Uh, to be honest, I had to wait until I was calmed down. There's a high level of frustration for me personally. Um, so I had to wait. I literally actually didn't do anything yesterday because I was frustrated the whole day uh, just due to the fact that this happened. And so I had to take the whole day off and just kind of chill out uh, so I can make this commentary today. Uh, so I'm not all the way there in terms of calmness because it, it's still a little bit frustrating. And it's just upsetting because, uh, well, basically I'll explain what happened. So uh, my recording program decided to have probably the worst periods of its life during the most important recording period of my life. Uh, I recorded all of my playoff games for this series. And if you can see on your screen, I did end up winning the Super Bowl. I'll explain what happened there in a second. But... Um, it's it's really horrible because it ruined the playoff push of this season. Luckily, the se the series obviously is going to continue. Um, but you guys missed the playoff push, which was probably um, some of the most exciting games I've ever played. The Super Bowl game was the most exciting Madden game I ever played. And to be honest, as soon as I played it, the the amount of excitement I had to actually post it was through the roof. I was so pumped. So like this game is amazing. I knew you guys would have liked watching it. And then of course um, the game decides that. I apparently am not allowed to, uh, I don't know, apparently, apparently it recorded, let's explain this, it recorded my videos in a format that can't be used in any software I've ever found. So just to address the issue with that, um, why the heck does this soft, why, do, why does this format exist? I don't know, it doesn't work anywhere. Uh, I can only play it back and it's like, well that doesn't help me with anything. So um, I mean I just, I didn't, I couldn't find a work, a way around it, I mean I tried for many frustrating hours to find out how I was going to do it because it's not, um, to be honest, like the main feeling right now I have is almost embarrassment because it's like I hate uh, doing stuff like this. It feels so novice, if that makes sense, to make this type of mistake at this important of a time. Um, and usually if this mistake happened, I can work around it. If it's like one game, I can work around it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I played all three games back to back to back for the playoffs under the assumption that I needed to record those games and get them edited so I can post them over the break I'm taking pretty soon. So um, obviously that can't be done uh, because the videos didn't exist. It also ruined my NBA 2K16 Fantasy Draft franchise where I played the championship game there um, and that didn't record. So ironically enough, it ruined only my playoff series. Now, if this happened during a regular season game, that's completely fine. I'll play another regular season game and make up for it. Um, but the fact of the matter is it decided to do the stupidest thing ever under the most important circumstances so um, I, I can't really explain why it happened I, I, I don't know maybe it's it's like a sign that this was just what it was supposed to happen I don't know um, like I said luckily the series will continue we're gonna we're gonna try to push back to the Super Bowl and win it next season um, to explain what happened in the Super Bowl we were down 21 to 24 with about 30 seconds left and Jameis Winston threw like a 70 yard Hail Mary to Odell to win the game uh, it was literally one of the coolest plays I've ever had my ex I screamed. I was screaming of excitement when it happened because I was like, this is way too cool. Uh, so that's probably the bigger reason why I'm so upset right now it, um, because I knew it was going to be a good gameplay. Not only was it the Super Bowl, but it was an awesome game too. And it's just, well, I mean, it's just like I got hit with a pile of rocks. It's crazy. It just um, So I'm extremely upset. Uh, I'm sure you guys are probably just confused and don't quite understand what uh, what's going on. And, uh, probably some of you guys are upset too because you, you missed the playoff run. I don't know. Uh, but luckily, like I said, uh, we'll be pushing back for that playoff run next year. Um, I'm only going to be playing like one in every f uh, three to four games next season um, to try to push back to the playoffs quickly because uh, it's almost like a personal thing. I, I just want to get back to the playoffs quicker because um, I feel like we missed out on this season. That I want to be able to get back there and, and retrieve that feeling once again. So um, that happened. But either way, before it gets so depressing where I'm just addressing all the issues that just happened, let's actually get into the off season and um, get stuff ready to go. So... Uh, like I said, we won the Super Bowl. There's not a whole lot of improvements that need to be made. We'll, of course, resign some of the bigger players if we have enough money. I don't really know where our salary cap is standing at right now. And then, of course, um, if we can find any cool free agents or cool draft picks or anything of that nature, of course, we'll invest in one of those. So um, let's see, we're advancing. Uh, let's resign some players. So if that's it, how many players does it say we need to resign? Um, not a ton. Okay. Uh, I don't know how a lot of these guys are, how a lot of these guys did. Um, Payne Hillis wasn't bad. This O'Donnell guy is actually, even though he's a 77 overall punter, he's pretty nice. 
And of course, since he's a punter, he won't he won't want much. So we'll just re-sign him. We have 44 million dollars in cap space, and I don't um, feel necessarily obligated to sign any of these guys. So we should have a lot of money going into the actual free agency. Now I'm going to sign Ben. I'm going to sign that tight end as well, um, because both of those guys did a pretty nice job on my team. Now and this guy's asking for a little bit of money. Uh, he did. He, he fits well in my scheme though, so we'll give him like this much. He fit well in the scheme. He got a few big touchdowns, especially in the playoffs. Uh, this is terrible to remind that, but yeah, he did great in the playoffs for us. Um, but he's not going to resign. So, and then Griffin comes in when Ladarius screens out and does a pretty nice job, and he doesn't want much money. So, we'll give him a little bit. I, honestly, I feel more obligated to give him more than what he's asking for because he doesn't want much money. So I kind of like these humble guys who don't need a lot of money to be happy. Um, so let's see. Hopefully, he should have signed that one, and he will. So. Um, Let's see where else we're going to go. We have... Uh, Payne Hill is, is pretty nice. I don't know how much money he wants. We don't really need him. Um, he doesn't want much, though. So we'll sign him for, like, this much. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, he'll re-sign for that. Um, I think, honestly, with this much money, and we'll just get draft picks to fill out most of these other guys. And outside of that, we can probably just get a... Um, a good amount of pretty solid free agent. $41 million, we can get like two max contracts. So, um, or definitely one max contract. Uh, I think the last thing we need to check is make sure we have enough backups at every position. Uh, offense looks pretty good. Even, I think this is only because we haven't... Oh, Hepburn was actually your starter. Whatever, we'll sign another big outside linebacker, but I mean, actually it appears that there are a few guys, a few backups that I should be resigning. Uh, Hepburn, we'll see how much money he wants. If he doesn't want much, then I'll resign him. He doesn't want like nearly anything, so sure, get back on the team. I mean, if you're you're a important, if you're a starter on a Super Bowl team, okay, yeah. Somehow he's not gonna accept that. We gave him more than he's asking for, but uh, we'll send this Casillas guy because we if we're losing, well, this guy wants like three million dollars, and the other guy only wanted like two. That's ridiculous. Never mind, not signing Casillas. Um, we'll send this black guy as a backup safety. He doesn't want much money. We'll give him like one point one. Uh, these guys, if they don't sign to some of these contracts, I'm giving like 50% more than he wants. Okay, luckily he's going to sign to that. I will send this guy Smith. He's like a pretty easy, nice young guy. Uh, backup to. Um, oh, someone wants tears. Okay. And he's a backup to Gregory and Fowler, who ne aren't necessarily injury prone, but it's nice to have a young backup to those two guys. Um, and he'll re sign too. So I think we're pretty good going into free agency. Um. I don't know what the bigger moves we're going to need to make are, to be completely honest. Um, I don't. I don't know what our big moves are going to be. Maybe a maybe a better uh, guard, center, right tackle, but these guys aren't bad. Um, I wouldn't mind if we can get, like, I love I love receivers. I don't know what it is. Jaquelin Russell went out uh, with a huge injury. I don't think we ever discussed this either. He went out with a huge injury, and that's why he missed, like, a lot of the final games that you guys saw, and I never discussed it. That's funny to think about. Yeah, he went down with a huge injury after starting off spectacular. Like, he had, he was leading the league in touchdowns by, like, four. Then went down with that huge injury, which was really upsetting on the defensive end. Oh, a cornerback would be really nice. A cornerback to compliment Pat Pete. And then another outside linebacker when we lose Hepburn. So, um, I think we have it basically all figured out. Um, we'll move on to what the free agent class looks like. Hopefully, it's a really nice one. I, I mean, we've been waiting... Last year's wasn't good. This year's, I, I'm honestly not feeling this year's. I don't think it'll be that good, but we'll find out here in just a second. Oh, gotta fix this. Sign free agents. We have a lot of money, so here we go. There's some. Here's some options. We got Trent Cole, who's a pretty dominant out, uh, right end, but we already have a nice right end. We have Lawrence Timmons, a nice punter here. Here we go. Demarcus Ware. Yeah, this isn't. This isn't really what I needed. Brent Grimes isn't bad. Not a bad option there. Let's check. Is there anybody else? No, Brent Grimes is technically the guy. Let's see. Yeah, let's get him. I mean, for one year, we'll give him a lot more than he's wanting because if we're only giving him one year and I don't, I don't see myself signing enough players to go for my cap room anyways, it doesn't really hurt me to sign him more money. Um, so, what was the other position I needed? Was the Browns linebacker? But if there's no good ones, it's not really worthwhile to, to get one. Uh, maybe just a backup. Um, We'll get this guy, Will Smith. Just name name purposes, we need to get this guy. Um, that's just a solid name. Okay, so we'll sign him. Um, 
other other positions that like are desperate in needs of a backup. It looks like the left off linebacker position is. Uh, right tackles are good. All these all these things look good. Do we need a backup left tackle? We'll get German Bushrod. So want much money? Um, no, I'm not gonna give you nine million dollars. So, um, we give him this much. Uh, tight ends, we gotta get them out. Wide receivers, I think we're basically all right. Unless there's a really solid. Let's look. Is there any really solid wide receivers? Um, there's a few pretty nice ones. None, none that are like kind of blowing me out of the water though. I mean, I wouldn't mind a guy like Cecil Shorts. He's pretty nice and fast, but uh, considering the fact that we don't really need one, um, I'd rather just get a fifth one that's pretty cheap. So this guy only wants 770k. I love that deal. We'll give you for 910 and a 50k bonus. Um, when you guys actually, I, I think, I don't know if it was this series or Rams series, but you guys recommended that I try giving them bigger bonuses and less actual cap room. I don't know how that actually works in terms of salaries, but um, it sounds like that might be a good idea. And then right here, we'll give AJ McCarron um, pretty good money to be our backup. I mean, we had some issues uh, with, if you guys remember the last game I actually showed you on the Bills week 17, when we had Charlie Whitehurst come in. He played like absolute donkey shit, so I don't want him to be our backup anymore. Um... And I think that AJ McCarron can be a very uh, successful backup in our system. So look at him. Um, I need another left off swing backer. That's what it was. We'll get um, LJ Fort. Welcome to the squad. Let's see. Give him about this much. About 500k bonus. And he should sign with that amount. So we have our negotiations set. We are going to have a lot of money going into next season. Which I don't usually like to have. I, I like to just fill up as much as possible. But this this um, whole entire offseason is not worth it. Plus, if we want to stay on top, we want to keep money for multiple years to come, so we can constantly re-sign our best players. <laughs> so all six of the guys are going to sign within the first week. The good news is we have Brent Grimes and Patrick Peterson, so that's a little bit dominant. And then we got uh, Gregory and Fowler who are getting just better. I mean, they have 88 overalls now. We have to actually distribute XP to a lot of these guys. Uh, we have 90 plus overalls in both of our safeties because Trey Boston's developed a lot, um, plus confidence boost, of course. We have Shaq Thompson, who uh, is a very athletic left left outside linebacker, and we'll keep him, and hopefully he'll be able to do good. And then PJ Dawson, of course, is a pretty nice one. So um, James Winston, 96 overall with a confidence boost. We hopefully get him up to 99. Odell is a 98, and I don't really know what more we need to upgrade to get him to 99. I, I just don't understand. Um, I mean, is there is there anything else that he really needs? Like, this guy is crazy. Uh, I don't know. I think I think he deserves to be the 99 overall. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I guess we work in run block. I don't know. That might help because he is our number one receiver, so it wouldn't hurt for him to be a better run blocker. Especially on, like, pitch plays for Jamal. That would help. So, uh, whatever. That's enough of that. Um, we have our five backup receivers. We have a pretty solid group guys here. I think we've – have we reached our – or 53 is that what it's called like any 53 players um, I really hope so because I never seem to make it uh, I never seem to have all 53 players on my team and why is this being so weird I, I don't want to look at Shaq Thompson whatever it's glitching out um, so we'll go to oh oh it's the scouting comp I never mind we're gonna scout college players here so let's see what we can get um Josh Cole no I don't know do we have a first rounder no we don't so um, things that we actually need, maybe a right tackle, looks like we have a C there. Um, a left outside linebacker will look for one, because that's our worst position. You know, I like Shaq Thompson. We'll look just in case. KJ Hicks. Uh, no, he's, he's not really anything to be dazzled by, and neither is this guy. The talent of an undrafted player, that's, yeah, that's not impressive. This guy is incredibly athletic, but, um, I mean, first in, in, five of the six combine uh, stats. That's extremely impressive. But he, he doesn't seem to be very knowledgeable about the actual game. Uh, these left outside linebackers suck. Never mind. Is this one even good? Derek Scott? No, even he sucks. So, uh, never mind. We're not going to find a left outside linebacker. We might find... Um, I don't know what we'll find. I don't think we'll find anything, really. This is probably one of the weaker uh, off-seasons we'll ever have. Which sucks because I kind of wanted to make a big splash in the offseason, kind of make up for the big mistake that happened during the actual uh, playoffs. So it's too bad. Isn't going? That's gonna be the case. This guy doesn't look bad. B.J. James, check out him. He's not bad. Look at this guy. He's got a good combine grade. Maybe he's strong. 
B plus Rumbok. There we go. There's something. Um, find a little bit of. Uh, oh, here's another great guy. He's got the same same thing, and he's a whole like round lower. So um, let's go in the draft. We'll get one of those right tackles, and I think we'll trade away the rest of our picks because we don't really need anything else except maybe some extra picks or maybe um, some some backup. So let's send to the draft. We don't really have much to do now. Um, lastly, while we're sending to the draft and before the draft starts, I still want to reemphasize that I apologize for the whole situation that happened. Um, I mean. In all honesty, your guys' level of frustration can by no means match mine, I don't think, because I was extremely upset when I, when I figured this out. I, It was bad. It was really bad. So, um, doing a little bit better now, like I said. But either way, let's get into this draft. I think the main thing, like I said, we need is a right tackle. Uh, I kind of work on that O-line a little bit, especially considering that looks like it's our worst position. Let's look one more time at our team. Um, oh, we, that team menu's not up anymore. E either way, I mean, we have kind of a... We have the last pick of the third round, so... That third round right tackle we're looking at was probably not up there anymore. And no, he's not. So we're going to get this guy, Ryan Carter, in the third round. It's a little bit early, but um, number 78 in true talent. So he's a good pick. I mean, he's good for the pick we got him. Uh, not the greatest overall, though. 86 run block, 91 strength. He'll be a solid backup, but uh, I don't think by any means I'm going to actually start him. So that's, so that's just where he's going to stay. Um... And then I think we'll just keep skipping to our next picks and then actually just, uh, from this point, just trade away our picks because I don't see any reason to actually keep keep on to them. So uh, we can get a fourth rounder from any of these teams. I'm assuming the Raiders will probably do the worst, even though they have a lot of young guys. That's just my guess. Maybe the Redskins would have done worse, but um, we'll continue to sim. I mean, I don't know. I'm a little... I'm, I'm a little bit upset the, by the fact that this this free agency didn't go all that well, um, or this whole offseason didn't go extremely well. But um, hopefully in the future it'll be a little bit better. We'll see. We'll get the Dolphins fourth rounder. Um, just a very very mellow offseason. I think we filled up a few gaps. We got a few nice players. I think Brent Grimes is the highlight of our whole offseason. I think honestly, just him is going to make our team uh, like a hundred times better, especially because our pass game was a, li a little bit weak. There are some times where I was a little bit upset. Because um, our pass game just wasn't there, our pass defense wasn't there, uh, and I think Brent Grimes can make our pass defense way, 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 way better. Especially because our number two corner cornerback before him was was nowhere near on his level. So um, I'm excited for that. Indianapolis currently has the number one overall pick, so that means they must have had a terrible season. So we'll take their pick right there, and then um, we'll get to our next pick and then trade that one away as well. So um, like I said, that's basically the end of it. Uh, I'll take one last look at the team as we finish here, and then I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys what our plans are for the next season, and we'll kind of just move on from there. So, as we advance to the next pick, we are going to advance through the draft recap. And now, after we do this, we're going to be able to actually look at our roster. So, um, here we. Where's our Where's our team? Nope, not that looking yet. Okay, I guess we'll have to wait till. Till all season, you know, we'll send regular season so you guys can actually see what the team is going to look like. Hopefully, no big injuries happen in preseason. That seems to always happen to me. I seem to have the worst luck with preseason injuries. I really hope uh, Jamal doesn't get injured. That's my big thing, is because Jamal seems like the most injury prone guy on my team. Because um, he got injured, I think, like 14 out of the 16 weeks last season. It was it was really rough, and it was with two separate injuries. So it, it wasn't it was not it was not good. Um, so I guess I'm not allowed to look at my team. Um, interesting. I, I can't look at it in that menu apparently. Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, it's like we got Jameis at quarterback. Backup says McCarron and Mallet, which aren't bad whatsoever. Um, Jamal, who's luckily not injured. If you guys have not known this before, the injury, a little injury sound will come up in the top right corner. Um, and so he's fine. And we got all our backups who seem to be healthy as well. Our fullback, we have OJ Brain is some random guy who I've never heard of. Wide receivers, of course, Odell, Emmanuel Sanders, Kevin White, Jaquelin Russell, who will, of course, uh, take over the number two or number three receiving role, especially following a dominant season last season. Uh, I don't see any reason for him not to be one of the top receivers on the team. Tight end, we have Ladarius Green, who actually went down with the injury, so I guess that's the good news on why we got Ryan Griffin as a backup. Uh, so that's too bad. Left tackle, we got Becky Atari, however you say his name. We got St. Beatles as a left guard, Kilgore as center, Brandon Brooks right guard, Bobby Massey at right tackle. Joe Barksdale's backup. Okay, so yeah, the right tackle is the worst. Offensive line position. Uh, Dante Fowler at left end. Uh, right end, we have Randy Gregory. Defensive tackles, we have Jordan Hill, who's out with an injury and Akeem Spence. Now, I don't know if we run 
um, a two di a two defensive tackle type set, but if we do, I'm going to need to sign another one because we only have two, and one of them went down with an injury. So, I left us a linebacker. We have Shaq Thompson backed up by LJ Ford, both same overall though. Middle linebacker of CJ Mosley, who is undoubtedly the number one line middle linebacker on the team. I mean, 94 overall. He's the second best player on our whole team. And then Eric Kendricks, we're going to need to sign another middle linebacker too because we only have two, and he's he went down with injury. So, for us linebacker, we got PJ Dawson back up. Will Smith, cornerbacks, we have Pappy and Brent Grimes, of course, you guys had to remember that. Darquez Denard, who actually um, got two pick sixes in the the conference finals. I know you guys weren't able to see that, which I still feel terrible about, but um, yeah, no. Darquez Denard totaled like six interceptions in the playoffs, so um, I'm really excited to see him this season. Drake Boston at the free safety, and Cam Chancellor at the strong safety. And this should be, okay, here we go, now the team thing's popping up. This should be a really good year, guys. I'm really excited to see how this is all going to turn out. Um, I'm, like I said, going to need to sign another middle linebacker and defensive tackle, but I'll do that uh, off camera. So if you guys enjoyed, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion this series and um, hopefully comment some words of, of optimism to, to support me in this whole little uh, mess up I did because I'm, I'm still trying to get over it, to be honest. And then, of course, subscribe if you have not already. Stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on my channel. Um, I do really appreciate all your guys' support. And I think my favorite thing is, although I made this mistake, I feel like if any fans, any like group of, of subscribers is going to be supportive about it, it's going to be you guys, because um, you guys are, are literally the most supportive group of people I could I could possibly think of. So um, that's the end.